So is depression a biological issue or a relational environmental one? I can certainly share that in the mental health field, we generally accept it's a little bit of both, but that doesn't stop people from debating very strongly about their one position on one extreme or the other. Well, a new study just came out that I thought was really exciting, showing some of the biological markers and most specifically, identifying metabolic markers that can be measured in blood that predict depression with something like a potential 90% accuracy. In particular, they found that just five biomarkers could fairly accurately identify severe depression and suicidal ideation in the about 100 people that they tested out of the hundreds of possible biomarkers. Now, interestingly, which five biomarkers differed depending on whether it was the males or females in their study, but it was still five, and a lot of them focused on mitochondria. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Mm, yeah, yeah, can I continue? Anyway, what they found was that although ATP, the energy produced by mitochondria, is really useful in the cell, when it is outside of the cells, it can be problematic. It's basically a stress response. And their hypothesis is that when they find it there, that the suicidal ideation may be the body's basically attempt to rectify the perceived environmental stressor. And they also found some metabolic deficiencies that if their research pans out and seems to be uh, replicated, uh, might be fixed with over-the-counter supplements, things like folate and carnitine. Now, importantly, I'm not saying go just find these supplements and take them now because the research needs to be uh, replicated and then we need to isolate how and if taking those supplements actually does help in follow-up studies. Nonetheless, I thought it was exciting research worth sharing, and as always, you can go check it out and read it for yourself.